hello everyone welcome back to the channel i hope everyone is doing well today so i know we're going through a very difficult time uh, around the globe because of this virus but uh, you need to have a positive attitude uh, with that situation you know you have all that free time so you can also improve your skills in programming or you can learn some new skills you know so even if we are all stuck uh, at home and it can be boring sometimes uh, we need to stay positive and optimistic okay guys so today I have a new lesson for you okay in this lesson uh, we're going to talk about headers and footers okay so some of you asked me to do a quick lesson about this subject so here you have a list of countries and to separate them we have two sections okay the first one uh, with a header a simple header okay only a text view and then you have another section which is the second header which contains a horizontal stack a head stack okay with a system image here with the airplane and a text view okay some asian countries and finally you have a footer at the bottom of the list okay which contains a text view okay so that's what we're going to talk about today last but not least i'd like to thank all of you guys because i have finally reached my first thousand subscribers so it means a lot for me thank you very much for that and uh, yes let's go so you're going to fire up your xcode okay create a new xcode project here you're going to select single view app as usual okay then you can call your your project whatever you want i'm going to call it header footer demo okay en then you save the project on your mac and then we can start okay cool so once you get there the first thing to do as you can see obviously here we have many country names so we have to create some arrays okay actually we're going to create two arrays that declared some countries in europe and others in asia okay so here you are going to create the first one which will be let european countries is equal to the first array okay with few values okay so the first one obviously france my my country okay then spain then we can call germany for instance and italy for instance okay for the sake of the course then we create another array okay with some asian countries okay just like that and here i'm going to start by pakistan obviously as well then india for instance okay china japan and russia why not okay just like that obviously these two areas don't contain all the countries of these two continents but that's not the purpose of this course okay so we just need two areas to continue okay so next what we're going to do is to create obviously a list okay just like that okay and before going further we're going to wrap this just like that okay so you can cut and paste that just right there okay cool okay so now we're going to begin the very subject of the course uh, so the, the the first thing to do as i was saying is to call a section okay just like that so the first one will be only with a header here we're going to call a text object okay inside the parentheses you can write some european countries okay just like that and here you can delete that part and simply open the curly brackets and inside write for each element from zero to european countries okay 
dot count obviously what we want to show to display is a text with the name of the row okay so cell dot european countries and here dollar zero okay so that means that it starts with the first element okay and the dollar symbol helps to say that then we continue uh, for the other elements as well okay cool so at this point we can press resume and see if we get something before going further okay so now what we're going to do is to give a navigation bar title okay so here we can write navigation bar title and inside countries for instance okay and here we can write padding top because as i told you before we have a bug here so we need to write this line in order to get rid of it okay so and here a value of, uh, of 50 maybe okay just like that cool so that's what we get for the moment okay so we have our list of countries with a header okay cool so now we're going to continue so we are going to add another section okay so this time we'd like to have a header plus a footer okay so we are going to select this one header footer okay and here as i told you before in this header actually we have two objects we have an image okay which is this airplane and also we have a text view okay so as you have two objects on the same axis okay horizontal axis we are going to use a head stack okay so here you can write okay then open curly brackets uh, inside you are going to call an image obviously call it the system name will be airplane okay just like that then a text object uh, where you can write some Asian countries okay it's like that cool then for the footer we're going to call a text object as well okay so actually basically this is the the text displays here okay at the end of the list so we can write this is a list of few countries in Asia okay let me write that quickly this is a list of few countries of Asia okay cool and here you can delete this part as well open curly brackets and finally for each element okay from 0 to Asian countries dot count it's like that open curly brackets and write text cell dot Asian countries and we start with the first element obviously okay so this is our result okay so we are almost finished but not yet so if you want to have the dark mode you have to add this line here environment okay here you can write color scheme and here you can write dark okay we're going to launch the app on the real simulator because i'd like to show you something okay okay so here as you may notice the text in our headers can be seen okay so one thing you can do is to add here uh, simply after the text object a foreground color but actually you're just simply write primary what does that mean actually primary serves you to change the color automatically uh, regarding the mode of your telephone meaning that if it's in light or dark mode the colors will change automatically okay so here i just add primary and i'm going to do the same thing here for that one okay so foreground color dot primary 
and normally if I relaunch my app on the real simulator you'll see that the text are now in white but actually I made a mistake actually because I'd like also to change the color of the airplane symbol so rather than writing twice that parameter okay because obviously it works I prefer to write it once so what you can do is to uh, to give this modifier okay directly to the whole add stack okay so here you can write just like that and now if I relaunch one last time the simulator you'll see that the symbol and the text have the same color okay okay one last thing that I'd like to show you before I leave you is that for the footer text okay here actually you have a special font that you can call so here you can simply write footnote okay so in that way the the text will be smaller okay so as you can see here see you in the next lesson guys bye bye